Ayman Zawahiri was a pediatric surgeon. And these people are giving fatwa from caves in Afghanistan telling people to kill uh, people. Now, their fatwa is based on a famous fatwa from Mardin. The fatwa that killed Anwar Sadat is the same fatwa. My sheikh and teacher, Sheikh Abdullah bin Beya, recently held a conference in Turkey in the city of Mardin, which is where the fatwa was, was, uh, the fatwa was addressing an issue in that city. The fact that the ruler of that city was a Muslim but not applying Islamic law, and he was under the influence of the Mughals, who were uh, not Muslim at that time. He was asked, is this an abode of war or an abode of peace? He said, it's neither one or the other. It's a hybrid because it doesn't have the qualities of the abode of war. It doesn't have the qualities of the abode of peace. And then he said something very interesting. He said, therefore, the believer should be treated in accordance with the fact that he's a believer. And the disbeliever should be fought. يُقَاتِلُ أَرْخَارِجُ عَنَ الشَّرِعَةِ بِمَا يَسْتَحِقُ the disbeliever should be fought because he's left the sharia and as he deserves to be. Now, Sheikh Abdullah bin Bayya, when that fatwa was read in Mardin, he said that can't be right, the text. The ulama that were in the audience, some of them, some of the biggest ulama in the Muslim world, all said, Sheikh, don't change the fatwa. It's Sheikh al-Islam's fatwa. We can address the problems of the fatwa, but don't change the text of the fatwa. Sheikh Abdullah bin Bayya insisted. He said, no, something is wrong with that text. It doesn't, it doesn't work in the Arabic language like that. When he got back to Jeddah, he went to another text and found that it did not say that the one who left the sharia should be fought. It actually said, instead of yuqatiru, it said yu'amalu. He should be treated in accordance with him being a disbeliever. In other words, there are many rules that relate to disbelievers. Then he asked for the oldest copy in the Vahriya Mektaba in Damascus, and it came back saying, in fact, that he should be treated, not killed or fought. That fatwa was published a hundred years ago and has been replicated in countless editions of his fatwas saying that they should be fought. That is the basis of Abdul Salam Faraj's fatwa to kill Anwar Sadat. It was the basis of bin Laden's fatwa to kill the Americans and also to overthrow the house of Saud in Saudi Arabia. It's a, it's a misprint. They've based an entire philosophy on a misprint in a text that occurred a hundred years ago. This is a crisis in our community, the crisis of authority. Who can read these texts and who can determine what they mean? Thank you very much. <laughs>